It's Friday, and that means it's time for Finance Friday, sponsored by Compass Retirement Solutions. Today, I'm joined by with Tom Elder, the VP of Financial Planning at Compass Retirement Solutions. Tom, thanks for being here with us today. Oh, I love being here. Thanks for having me I again. I know we love having y'all because y'all really are not only educating myself, but the viewers at home. And today, we're talking about Social Security planning and what to consider when taking Social Security. So let's dive in yeah i would say the very the very first piece of advice that i would ever give about social security is if you call the social security administrative office understand that their job is just to answer your questions their job is not to give advice and so even even that being said if you call two different times and ask the same question sometimes you get two different answers so <laughs> that's kind of a different story though but anyway uh, and the other piece of advice I would give is don't follow cookie cutter, cutter advice. There's sometimes you read about always take it early or always take it late. I would tend to disagree with both of those. I think that you really need to have a plan and how does that fit into your plan. And that's so important. And you all are actually helping people come up with that plan at Compass Retirement Solutions. At what age do people qualify for Social Security? Yeah, so, so great question. Um, typically, it's going to be 62. Widowers can qualify as early as 60. And when you take it really depends upon your situation. For example, somebody might take it early, um, you know, before their full retirement age. If let's say that you're retiring early and you need $20,000 a year of portfolio income, well, it might make sense to take Social Security early if your portfolio is, is only $300,000. Because if you're pulling off $20,000 a year from a $300,000 portfolio, that's putting a lot of stress on that portfolio and there's a chance that you might not even have a portfolio come full retirement age. And that's a huge impact. And just now you mentioned that widows have earlier access to that social security. What happens when someone dies? Great question. So, so that brings me also to when it comes to planning, that might be a situation when you might wanna wait to take social security. So if you have a high earner in a married couple, um, when one person dies, you're left with one check. You don't get to continue to collect both checks. And so as far as the planning is concerned, it might make sense if you have a higher earner in the couple to wait to take it. Hey, I've never actually heard that. So that's yeah. great advice, especially for our viewers at home. Yeah. And why is it so important to have a plan, especially when it comes to Social Security? Gosh, you know, it's not as simple as just taking it early or setting an age. Um, having a plan is really important to try and maximize how much social security that you can actually collect and how it fits into the rest of your income planning it's not as simple as just picking a date for when you're going to collect it it might make sense especially in a married couple that one person collects it early one person collects it late but at the end of the day that's that's one of the reasons why we're giving out this free book today is because we want to try and help educate and inform people on when to take Social Security. It's actually a topic in the book is when should you take your Social Security. And that's a very important topic and we're making sure that you have access to all of that information. So if you're interested in getting this free peace of mind retirement toolkit, all you have to do is head to RethinkingRetirement.net. Tom, thanks so much for being here with us today, sharing in this knowledge and information with our viewers at home for Finance Friday and really just representing Compass Retirement Solutions. 